So remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Try to make sense of what you see and hold on to that childlike wonder about what makes the universe exist. We are very, very small, but we are profoundly capable of very, very big things. So Einstein was wrong when he said, God does not play dice. Consideration of black holes suggests, not only that God does play dice, but that he sometimes confuses us by throwing them where they can't be seen. One of the basic rules of the universe is that nothing is perfect. Perfection simply doesn't exist, without imperfection, neither you nor I would exist. It is alright to make mistakes, nothing is perfect because with perfection, we would not exist. The thing about smart people is that they seem like crazy people to dumb people. However difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. When something is made idiot proof, they will just make better idiots. I have noticed even people who claim everything is predestined, and that we can do nothing to change it, look before they cross the road. It is very important for young people keep their sense of wonder and keep asking why. Science can lift people out of poverty and cure disease. That, in turn, will reduce civil unrest. It is my view that the simplest explanation is there is no God. No one created the universe and no one directs our fate. This leads me to a profound realization. There is probably no heaven, and no afterlife either. We have this one life to appreciate the grand design of the universe, and for that, I am extremely grateful. 1. Remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. 2. Never give up work. Work gives you meaning and purpose and life is empty without it. 3. If you are lucky enough to find love, remember it is there and don't throw it away. I am just a child who has never grown up. I still keep asking these how and why questions. Occasionally, I find an answer. The more you learn, the more you know. The more you know, the more you forget. The more you forget, the less you know. So why bother to learn? Nothing is better than reading and gaining more and more knowledge. Scientific discovery may not be better than sex, but the satisfaction lasts longer. To understand recursion, one must first understand recursion. We are only the temporary custodians of the particles which we are made of. They will go on to lead a future existence in the enormous universe that made them. A person who smiles in the face of adversity, probably has a scapegoat. My advice to other disabled people would be, concentrate on things your disability doesn't prevent you doing well, and don't regret the things it interferes with. Don't be disabled in spirit, as well as physically. One is always a long way from solving a problem until one actually has the answer. The human failing I would most like to correct is aggression. It may have had survival advantage in caveman days, to get more food, territory or a partner with whom to reproduce, but now it threatens to destroy us all. We are just an advanced breed of monkeys on a minor planet of a very average star. But we can understand the universe. That makes us something very special. What I have learned from life is to make the most of what you have got. One can't prove that God doesn't exist. But science makes God unnecessary. The laws of physics can explain the universe without the need for a creator. Every man should marry. After all, happiness is not the only thing in life. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Money is not everything. There's MasterCard and Visa. My goal is simple. It is a complete understanding of the universe, why it is as it is and why it exists at all.